You know it gets me steamed. Yum. Hey y'all, welcome to Prosperity of Percy. Hey y'all, and welcome to Prosperity with Percy. I'm Percy Patchett, and I'm cooking dinner right now. I just wanted to kind of give you some insight and some ideas about what you might do for a meal. What I've done here is I've done a dry rub rib. These dry rubs are something to write your mama about. What I do is, oh gosh, I take a little bit of paprika and then black pepper and just slowly bake them. Good cooking right there. So what do you do to complement these dry rub ribs? Well, that's an excellent question. Some people go to the hassle of like just hand slicing everything, something in the pan, but you don't want to go through all that. What I do, I just use some steamable peas, maybe some broccoli. I don't know if you know this, but broccoli is, is amazingly high in fiber. That's a true story. You can take that to the bank and cash it. What I do is I just get ready to serve everything. I make sure that the meat is cooked all the way through. Gosh, that is hot. I'll come back to you in a minute. For the peas though, since they're steamable, it's you just, those are hot too. Sweet mama Jesus. Cut the top off of these. Make sure that you've got, got something on your hands because things can be hot. Rule number one in the kitchen, do not burn yourself. Rule number two, I do not know off the top of my head. Now, you want to make sure that you have yourself a good glass of wine because who the heck wants to cook all this food and not relax while doing it? That's good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Next, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a salad, you know, because you want something to start with. I think the French call it la petite appetite. All it is is I basically shred carrots with a little bit of tomatoes and cheese. Mm. It's simple. Simple is all get out. Simple is the key here, folks. Gosh, it is hot in this kitchen. Slaving for 35 minutes. But like I said, simple is best. And what's another great way to make it simple? But with a little glass of coffee. All you do, you put that in the coffee pot. You let it trickle through that little filter thing. I do not know where to get these. These were handed down to me from my grandma. She basically shopped at Costco for a long period of time. Before she passed, last December, she said to me, I want to make sure that everybody has exactly what they need. So if you could have anything in this world, what would you have for me? And I said, some of the stuff out of your shed. In her shed, she had these coffee filters. She bought them at Costco about five years ago. A pack of 5,000 coffee filters. To me, it's very ironic. Because of the fact that she was um, allergic to caffeine and hurt her heart. Her, she had gave her heart palpitations, so she couldn't even have any caffeine. She bought 5,000 coffee filters. Listen to this. This is weird. 5,000 coffee filters just in case somebody came over and wanted a cup of coffee. But she had a five-cup machine. Five-cup machines, and I don't like these five cups right here. I got 4,736 coffee filters. I counted them. Didn't have to count them all because some of them were in storage containers. So, like, there were 100 here, 100 here. So I counted those 100, and then one was open, and so I just did that. With the coffee, you just basically you just add in that cream, and then maybe you want a little bit of kick to it, and then maybe you want a little cream, maybe a little whipped whip topping on top. So you just add in that cream, and what better way to end it with healthy? Mr. Higgins, what are you doing with that whipped cream? You can't have that. You are a diabetic kitty. Because Mr. Higgins here, the cutest little kitty, kitty, kitty. This little kitty likes to eat fresh, likes to eat, not Subway. I guess you could think of that as Subway. We do not sponsor Subway. We don't dislike Subway. I prefer Quiznos. And then you just put that on there too. Just some nice healthy toppings there. What have we learned today? Well, that's an excellent question. Eat healthy, that's number one. The second one is don't spend too much time because you've got other things to do in the day. The right things to eat and the right amount of time. Until next time. We'll see you right here on Prosperity with Percy. Bye, y'all. Why would you let the cat have the whipped topping? You know? No. Do not. No. The cat is diabetic. It can't have it. What is sugar-free, anyway? I don't know what he can and can't eat. It's a cat. Mr. Higgins, we're just going living room. You come and you bring your, uh, the food for all of us whenever you're ready.